Hey there, content creators. Are you ready to take your tutorials and explainer videos to the next level? Meet mHowTo, the game-changing plugin for Motion VFX for Final Cut Pro. This is the ultimate toolkit for creating polished, professional videos that don't just tell, but show. Let me show you how it works. On to the tutorial. mHowTo will be part of the Design Studio element. So if you want to go up to M Extension. Now I have already downloaded this, but I'll just click re-download just so you can see that they will download right there inside M Extension. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Now that these have downloaded, you can kind of skim over and you can see a real-time preview. You actually don't even have to skim, just to have your cursor kind of over that and you can get a real-time preview. You can also click on this and you'll be able to see a little bit bigger what's going on with that certain title. So you get a nice big idea there of how that's going to look. Now with these, you also are able to pull these out of the design studio title right here. As you can see, you've got all of these different ones right in there, but instead of using it in the design studio title section, we're just going to use M extension. I'm just going to bring M extension over and it will kind of just go in place of my titles there so that I have it all in one place. So I'd like to show more of my add-ons here and I'm going to scroll down and kind of see what all options I have. I really like this one. So I'm just going to click and drag that directly out of M extension. And then you can see how that works flawlessly right out of M extension, really nice. And I'm going to use my on-screen controls here to just kind of grab this. And then I can just kind of position that how I want it right there. Really cool. Over in my inspector, if I want to turn on the tracker toolbar, I can go here and let's just kind of put that there actually we'll go over here and we can just track really quick so we're going to track forward and track backwards nice and now you can see that my element is tracked with the animation really really nice really simple to use we can turn the tracker toolbar back off and then if we did want to make any changes to like the scale or anything like that, you can also do that here in the inspector and you can change the width as well and the color. So let's say we wanted maybe like a yellow or something like that. Really, really nice. All right. One of the other things that I really like is the text cloud here. So I'm going to click and drag that in as well, right out of M extension. Let's bring that down. And we've got a bunch of on-screen controls here where we are able to take this and use our on-screen controls. If we would like to do a tracker here as well, we can do it like this. So let's say we wanna maybe put it right there. I'm not gonna use his mouth because his lips may move. So we're gonna use his nose actually. Then we can use our on-screen controls to kind of put that where we feel like it's going to work well. Let's track that forward and backward. And let's see how that looks. Nice, just kind of pops up. So, so cool. Most of these are gonna have that tracking option. So you're really gonna have a lot of fun with this. The other great thing is you can move this after it's been tracked and it's not gonna make a difference. It's just gonna kind of follow right along on that track. Really, really nice. Obviously, if you want to make any changes over here in your inspector, you can to the text and you can fine tune those doodle points if you want, or you can just use the on-screen controls. All right, let's continue moving down. So let's say you've got a really vague shot and you want to just kind of use it as a background. That is okay. We can go and find our backgrounds here. So you can see we've got several. I really like this one, this kind of dimming. So we're going to drag this in bring it over then you can see that just kind of dims and adds a nice blur we do have some parameters over here in the inspector if you would like to adjust that 
this will be great if you want to add some titles or something but with this one i actually wanted to use another one of these add-ons so we're just going to click and drag that back in on top just because i think that looks really cool on this background so there you go kind of animates in and then we have that other animation can use on-screen controls to bring that up if you want to use your secondary on-screen controls to space that out a bit you can definitely do so you can change your number of steps in the inspector here along with all of the text beneath and then if you would like to adjust the opacity on the circles for the fill you just find the number and the fill opacity and you can turn that up and down however you see fit all right let's continue down so with this i would like to do a bit of zooming so let's go to our camera movements and i really like this sort of flash zoom that we have here there it is so we're going to click that and drag that in Then you can see there's just a flash and then we can use our on-screen control to do something along these lines. Maybe we can scale that down just a little bit, something like that. There we go. So we've got that flash, boom. And then I may want to add a bit of text over here as well. So we're now going to go up to our typography and I really like this one right here. I think this one's pretty cool. So I'm gonna drag that in. We're going to bring it over and I want this to happen after we've had our zoom. So we kind of have our zoom and then we have that list pop in. Let's use my on-screen controls here. And I think it'd be kind of neat to track that on to our poll. So I'm going to open my tracker toolbar. And of course that is gonna move with it. So you just kind of finagle it around and figure out what you need. All right, let me track that real quick. Turn our tracker toolbar off. And let's see how that looks, flashes in. Boom, and this just kind of tracked in there. It's very subtle, but it's really nice, kind of sticks on that pole. I think that looks really cool. Over in our inspector, you can definitely make changes to your list text here. And then we have our symbols amount. So if you wanted up to 10, you would be able to do so. We'll stick with four, but let's just say maybe texture was also a check mark. You can adjust your symbols right here beneath. All right, we'll move down one more. Let's take a look. We've got some different social medias that could be nice. So again, just kind of click that in, drag it on top. And we've just got a nice subscribe button and bell right there really really nice of course if you wanted to do maybe a background make that a little bit more readable you can do so like that cool that looks great now don't forget about effects and transitions those are in here as well under your m extension so if you wanted to do any sort of transition you apply it just like any other transition of course let's open these up and take a look at some of these We've got this really cool kind of slide right there. Some sort of chromatic aberration blurs, a zoom with some light leaks. Really nice. I really like this one, this kind of push. So I'm going to drag this in between and then we can take a look. Now, I don't want those to compete with each other. So I'm just going to bring that back a bit and then we can have that kind of push out and we go right into that next animation really really nice now of course over in our inspector you can make some changes to the arrows width the opacity and colors as well and the last thing is going to be our effects so as you can see here we can open these up we have some different effects i like this avatar so i'm going to actually take our guy here i'm going to duplicate it and we're going to just bring him in on top and we're going to use our avatar effect just drag that on and then you can see that we have this circular avatar we can adjust that position wherever we'd like and then up in our inspector we are able to maybe increase that scale a bit we can bring him over on x just to center him up and then now we've got this really cool flash we've got him popping in we've got the text going on etc 
And that is about it for me. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial on M How To, which is now available via Design Studio. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.